the golden ratio, the divine proportion, phi, the way the universe grows and the natural order that applies to everything. No wonder Galilei said, mathematics is the language in which God has written the universe. Ever wondered how it sounds? Ever since I wrote a song using pi, I plan on making a song using phi, also called the golden ratio. And today's that day. I started brainstorming how could I use that ratio to make music with. So let's start with understanding the golden ratio. What is it exactly? So I'm not trying to sound like a smart ass, so let's just quote Wikipedia. And it says, two quantities are in the golden ratio if their ratio is the same as the ratio of their sum of the larger of the two quantities. Right. What this basically means is that if we've got two parts, a bigger and a smaller one, how the big one relates to the small one is the same as how both relate to the big one. So this relation is the same as this relation. Magic! It's an amazing shape. It can reproduce itself indefinitely. All these shapes have exactly the same proportions and on top we can draw the magic spiral that repeats until infinity. And the most remarkable thing is that we see these proportions everywhere around us. In nature, the way things grow from plants and trees to shells and starfish and from insects to humans to how clouds, planets and even entire galaxies form. The golden ratio can be found everywhere. It's been seen in art and architecture ever since ancient civilizations. So we can also calculate the number uh, phi and it's roughly 1.618. But how can we implement that ratio in music? Well, my first idea was to take two frequencies that have that so-called divine ratio and see how they would sound played together. It's a two sharp minor six interval. So not that a nice idea to make music with. So that's one way of interpreting the ratio, but don't worry, there's many interesting ways to use phi to create heavenly, soul cleansing, mind healing, miracle music. So let's dive in. So of course, the first thing I did was tune my guitars to A is 432. Because that is totally in line with the heartbeat of the earth or the Schumann resonance. Some folks even dictate healing powers to using that frequency. I'm not sure about that, but there's definitely nothing wrong with tuning a little bit lower, a little less tension on the strings, a little mellower sound. So this piece I wrote is tuned in A is 432 and I started to create this beautiful ethereal ambient soundscape with a body of mine using some of our favorite pedals. So we both did our thing. One is coming out of the left speaker, the other one is coming out of the right. So the listener sits beautifully in the middle, surrounded by nothing but sweet, ethereal, mind healing bliss. Sweet! So next up I needed a rhythm, because to me that's the backbone of music. And I wanted a rhythm using the ratio that sounds logical, but not really in a traditional musical way as we know it and I found just that. So a very interesting fact is that we can get very close, scaringly close even, to the golden ratio using the Fibonacci sequence. And guess what? Sammy G, aka Samurai Guitarist, is doing a video writing music with the Fibonacci sequence. So after you're watching this video, head over to his channel and find out what he came up with. Anyway, the sequence is the sum of the two previous numbers. So it starts with zero, followed by a one, together becoming one. 1 and 1 becomes 2, 2 and 1 becomes 3, 2 and 3 becomes 5, 5 and 3 becomes 8, etc. So the higher we go in the Fibonacci sequence, the more dividing two numbers that follow each other through each other represents the golden ratio. I took the highest three digit value from the Fibonacci sequence, used it as a BPM for the first bar. So this bar is played in a tempo of 987. The second bar, there's a tempo change going to the digit below that, which is 610. So there's again, one bar of 610. The following bar is 987 again, and then a bar of 610 again. So what we have is that the length of the first click relates to the length as the second click in the golden ratio, or phi. And we repeat that over and over again, constantly hearing that perfect 
relation throughout the entire song. So this is the project and here is the metronome. So it is a sort of a, a wonky, lazy triplet feel, but not really though, it's, it's pretty cool. And what's funny as well is that the tempo of this project is 233, which is also a number in the Fibonacci sequence. Sweet. So now we needed some melody. And I tried sculpting a melody using the number phi, 1.6180339. I treated the number as functions of the A major scale. So A becomes one, B becomes two, C sharp is three, etc., etc. So a nine would be the octave, and then one step higher because the octave is eight. Zero would be a half step below A because you just count back. But this was a bit too easy. I wanted to incorporate the Fibonacci sequence too, since it's basically another way of representing the golden ratio. So what I did, I created patterns cycling through the golden ratio with the patterns of Fibonacci, if you understand what I mean. First, I started with playing the first note from the golden ratio. So that's the one from the Fibonacci sequence. And then again, the first note. And then the first two notes, the two from the Fibonacci sequence. And then the first three notes. And then the first five notes. And then the first eight notes. So we follow the Fibonacci sequence. And then we play it back. So the eight, five, three, two, one, and one. And there we have the melody. So, but we also got that rhythm, right? So what if we played that melody in that golden ratio rhythm we created? It would sound like this. But of course, we can go further. So I plug my guitar into some of those pedals we use to create those soundscapes. Because what I wanted to do is to control the sounds or the knobs in the rhythm of the golden ratio, if you understand what I mean. But how can we con with MIDI? I hook those pedals up via my computer, sending MIDI information directly from Ableton Live so I can control the pedals. So for example, here we see MIDI information being sent into the mood from Chase Bliss. So it sends value 88 on number 18, then going to 95 and then back to 90. And this is all played in the rhythm of the golden ratio, as you can see. If we play this clip right now. So these weren't really the settings I used when recording the melody, but this is how it ended up. Let's have a listen. Sounds very ethereal. How does that sound together with that space we recorded, those ambient guitars? Let's have a listen. Very cool. So that's coming together very nicely, but I'm not feeling sacred enough right now. Not enough, it needs to be better. So constantly droning on that A major chord felt a bit too monotonous for me. So I sculpted a chord pattern, sort of going through the first numbers of phi, where the numbers basically mean the chord degree. So it's one, A major, six is F sharp minor. So we created a few minutes of ambient sounds in just one chord, then did the next chord, recorded everything, and then I just grabbed everything and just cut it in pieces and glued it together. And how it came up is like this. So with the melody, that sounds pretty sweet. So 
So how heavily does that sound, right? And the most amazing thing about this golden rhythm was that we can interpret in threes. So we have to bend the time a little bit to make it work, but I think that it's pretty sweet because it's a bit wonky. But the other way of counting this is feeling it in a pattern of five. So instead of that lazy, uh, slow, laid back feel in threes, we can make it a little bit, a little bit more vivid counting in five. So it would be like this. So we can play exactly the same rhythm in the melodies, but feel it in a totally different way. So there's a few in threes and a few in five. Three, wait a second. Those are the numbers from the Fibonacci sequence again. Whoop. Mind is blown. Hit that like button. So this track definitely needed real drums. No computer can recreate that, that natural and heavenly feel I was looking for. So I asked Joost Wesseling to be part of this project. I sent him over the files, I told him the general idea and feel I was looking for, and later that week I visited him to record the drum tracks. After hearing a few different takes and ideas, we settled on the following basic pattern for three, sounding like this. the tension very sweet and then a little later on there's even a, s a sort of a third feel going on where the rise is playing in a uh, half time basically So and lastly there's this, the tension arc. So a lot of composers used or used the golden ratio to determine the structure of a piece. And I did exactly that. So if we look at the waveform of the final piece, um, the song is 3.14 minutes long. Yes, that's that's fine. So uh, if we divide that, the seconds, uh, to 1.618, we come out at two minutes, which is over here, which is exactly where the division in the waveform is between the build-up and then going to the slower and outro again. No way! Yes it is! <laughs> so now you've seen the approach and heard quite a few snippets. If you still want to hear the full piece, check it out at your favorite streaming service or here on YouTube. Just search for Paul David's Song from Phi. P H I. And please, when you do, share it on your Instagram, tagging me at Paul David's Guitar. But of course, do it after you and me check out Samurai Guitarist's take on the Fibonacci sequence. I just know it's going to be epic because, besides, he's one of the funniest and nicest guys I've ever met. He's also an amazing guitar player, a great songwriter, so I know it's going to be catchy and a lot of fun to watch the video. Anyway, check it out. All the links are below. Thanks for Samurai for the call app. It's been a lot of fun. Check it out. Cheers. So please like this video to open you. Paul, I just finished listening to your composition and I gotta say the depth at which you incorporated the golden ratio into this song has me rather impressed. It's in every facet of the music, which takes some serious creativity. And the fact that it also sounds really great is a testament to your musicality. If I didn't know the story behind this song, I would say, hey, that's a really cool song. But knowing what actually went into it makes me say, hey, that's a really, really cool song. Well done, Pauly D. This collab has been an immensely pleasurable experience.